All right, what is up guys? VV back with another video. And uh, in today's video, first of all, let me check this volume. There we go. <clears throat> in today's video, we are going to be going over another game from the East, from one of the championships over there. It's going to be Dofi versus Katakuri. Okay, this is in the OP04 um, meta. So something we're going to need to get used to seeing over here in the East. And this, this uh, is from about three months ago as we wait for them to release more and more content. I'm just waiting patiently, guys, for the next big championship to be streamed on their site so I can get some of the new stuff from OP05. So y'all be patient with me. Y'all bear with me. I'm working on it, guys. I promise. <laughs> I'm just waiting on them to put some stuff out. In the meantime, I am starting to work on my own OP05 decks that I'll be able to mess around with at home or with friends and try to, you know, get some, some play testing in from, from some of that cool stuff. And, and, of course, all the OP04 stuff already out in the West now. Going to start messing around with that as well. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this game, guys. I have it at 2x speed as per usual so that we can kind of blitz through this. So, all right, let's go ahead and go. All right, so we got the Katakuri player on the left and the um, Dofi player on the right. Um, let, me, let me try and read their hands real quickly. Okay, pause. Here we go. So, on the left, Katakuri... Actually, let's do the right first with uh, Doflamingo. I see Sugar, 10 cost Doflamingo, Punk Gibson, Gil Tesoro, and uh, another 10 cost Dofi. And on the left, it looks like we have, it's really hard to see on, on the left. And I have the quality up, you know, let me make sure the quality, yeah, it's at 1080. Okay, we'll be able to see it here in just a second. It looks like two Alt Crackers and Alt Art Sanji, uh, Alt Art Search Pudding for the top four. And so let's see what he gets. <clears throat> He is going to go ahead and snag a cracker. All right. So it looks like, gosh, they're going so fast this game. I think it's a guild, uh, Amandi, Amandi. And, hey, I got to pause. They're going so fast. I can't quite see the, the top left card for the, for the, uh, Katakuri just yet. The, uh, Okay, so the, the uh, Dofi player swings for five with lead, and the Katakuri player counters out for 1K with the, with the Cracker. Buena Fiesta off the top. Top five search for a film character. And let's see what he gets. He's got, a, it looks like a 7K in hand. I think that's, Do, uh, excuse me, Luffy. Seven cost Luffy, uh, the film blocker that puts out a four cost or less straw hat or film character. Looks like the Katakuri draws a Randolph off the top. I still can't quite tell what this alt art is. Let's see if they uh, zoom in on their hand here. Okay, here we go. I think that's a Yamato or Yamato. It, I could be wrong. Anyway, the Katakuri swings five. Dofi takes it. And it looks like uh, the Katakuri is going to establish a cracker. All right. So we get another Dofi off the top. Is that what I just saw? Hang on, I got to go backwards. Okay, untap up, keep. Yep, here we go. Yeah, another another uh, ten cost Dofi off the top. So swing five, and let's see what Katakuri is going to do about this. Probably, it looks like he's going to trash the uh, the other Cracker. He had three Crackers in hand. His opponent is at three life while he is at five. So the Cracker really does absolutely nothing other than just be a four cost five K body. So let's see what happens. We're going to tap down five and play Guild to Soro. Two Dawn's going to come untapped because of the leader's effect. Draws Shirahoshi for the turn. And we're really off to the races now. I think um, <clears throat> it looks like one, two, three. Yeah, so six Dawn is available for the Katakuri here. He has Shirahoshi, Sanji, Am Amandi, um, Randolph, and Yamato in hand. I'm pretty sure that's the five, the, excuse me, the alt art nine cost Yamato in hand. Uh, a lot of things can be done here, but he really doesn't want this guild to Soro to start generating too much value, but I don't think there's any way he can deal with it just yet. So he's going to swing five with uh, with um, Cracker, and the um, Dofi just takes it. The Dofi does take it. He could have counted out with, um, with Sugar if he wanted to, but that's about it unless he wanted to use an actual event from hand. However... Maybe he wants to get down to two life. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe that's where he wants to, to sit at. Uh, and what did he get from that? Did he get another a seven cost uh, Luffy blocker? So very nice. Okay. Attach one to um, Katakuri. He is going to keep the card on top of his life that was there and swing seven. And we're going to punk Gibson out of this to tap down 
the pudding and play Randolph at the end of his turn here. Very nice. Okay, establishes a 7k body. So now we're looking at 7 Dawn for the for the Dofi player to work with here. Um, man, you know, this this is not a good pull. I, I have to say that for for the purple green Dofi player. His hand currently consists of three 10 costs, two seven costs, a sugar, and a one cost was at Paradise Waterfall. Uh, excuse me, he has four. I think he has four of the 10 cost Do Flamingo. Oh man, that's just unlucky. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, okay, we're zoomed in. Oh, right, right when you zoom in. Yeah, pause. Yeah, so literally all four of the 10 cost Dofies. Oh man, so unlucky. And this happens, guys. This does happen. Um, it is what it is. It's not even a matter of bad deck construction. It's just unlucky. But who knows? Maybe this is a reason to go down to only three of the card. You know, who knows? Who knows? All right, so let's see what he does. He's got to work with what he's got here. Uh, he has, let me pause it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has seven Dawn available. He could just flat out play a, uh, his seven cost Luffy. Or another option is loading up on the Guild to Soro here. Hang on, let me, let me, I just want to see something real quick. Okay, actually, no, he doesn't have to load up. It's just a, when attacking Dawn minus two, draw two cards from Guild to Soro's ability. So, personally, what I would do here, swing five with your leader like you're doing, play out your seven cost for the turn and your seven cost blocker Luffy, right? And then attack with Guild to Sorrow, return two Dawn to your Dawn deck, draw two cards, and you should have something to do from there. Two Dawn will come untapped in a turn, and you're sitting on a, uh, what was it? A, um, a Paradise Waterfall, I believe it was. So, he's really thinking about this. Let me see something. Yeah, that is a... I'm almost 100% certain by this angle that that's a Paradise Waterfall. It's kind of hard to see for me. But that's a one-cost 2k counter. So he he is... Remember, this is at 2x speed. So this guy is really in the tank here. The, as far as I'm concerned, there's only one play. Okay, that is a nine-cost Yamato, by the way. We, we do see that. So, okay, I got to pause that real quick. Maybe that is why the Doki player is taking life so quickly. Because right now, that, that um, nine-cost Yamato can take out a seven or less. Okay, so here we go. He's gonna pay seven. Yeah, this this has gotta be the right play. This has gotta be the right play. Did, I wonder if he just got a warning because it, it looks like he's talking to the judge. So pay, wow, okay, so he did not swing. Did not swing with Guild to Soro. Um, so plays the seven cost uh, Luffy out. He gets two Dawn untapped. I would have 100% swung with uh, Guild Tessero there. That's just me personally. Uh, unless, am I reading something wrong? I, I, let me let me bring him over for everyone. Um, guild, boom. All right. So this is the card. Five cost, 6,000 power. When attacking, Dawn minus two. Draw two cards. So he, he would swing for six. You draw two. It's just that simple for me. And yeah, if they KO Guild Tesro, hey, they KO him. It is what it is. Uh, but hey, he, this guy knows what he's doing. He's got his own plan. Uh, let me go back real quick. Yeah, because he could have even swung at the pudding just to remove a body from the board. But all right, let's see how the game pans out. And he would even have a seven cost to defend Guild to Sorrow if needed. And then whatever cards he draws with, he might have, you know, other options available. Okay, so it looks like another, uh, looks like a Shirahoshi was drawn by the uh, the Katakuri player. Katakuri is on eight, Dawn, it looks like. Yep, five, yeah, that's eight. Um, I think you play a Shirahoshi here. Yeah, absolutely. And he... He's got some Sanji's, a Big Mom, and he got a Pair of Sparrow from that. He's going to trash the Pair of Sparrow and the Shirahoshi. Okay. Uh, things are getting interesting. Things are getting very interesting here. Uh, wait, did he get a Katakuri? I, I didn't see him get an 8-cost Katakuri. Maybe they're just showing that on the screen. Because, yeah, yeah, I don't believe he has an 8-cost Katakuri in hand. Um, even though it showed it on the screen. Whatever. Okay, so he takes it and gets a Frankie. That's a 5-cost 7K Frankie from the, from, the, from the top of his life. And let's see what happens here. He gets an Uda. He gets an Uda from from uh, from his uh, from the top of his deck. So I, let me pause it. So again, I don't know why we wouldn't chance just swinging with the Guild to Soro. Number one, if he swung for nine, it would be easier to counter out if he drew an answer he needed, and uh, you know then he could just block with his um, Luffy as well. 
interesting. So, all right, and, and you guys tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. And did I miss something? Like I, again, I don't know why he wouldn't block out of that, or, or, or swing with the Giltesro and then try to counter out and block out if needed. And then again, worst case scenario. Wait a minute. Wait, he's swinging too. Are you swinging with Guild to Soro? And he's not using the win attacking Dawn minus two. So, okay, this is one of those situations. I do have to make a quick comment. You have to play with what you've been given. I get that. He has four 10 cost Dofies in hand. That is why he doesn't want a Dawn minus two. However, you are on one life currently. <laughs> and, you know, you need answers. If they start swinging at your characters, that's fine, right? Because you need to draw into answers. And currently, he has an Uda in hand, and he, and he, he drew a, a Frankie from life. So, all right, let's see what happens here. He swings for 5 or 6K and does not activate to, the Tesoro's uh, when attacking. Okay. I think the category player is equally confused. Okay, gets a gets a cracker from life and does not choose to play it either. That, that's, that's very interesting. He got a Charlotte cracker from his life. And I guess he doesn't want to part with the Sanji, the um, the Amandi, the um, Yamato, or the Big Mom. Okay. Swings for wow. Swings for <laughs> he swung for seven with his uh, with the, the the Luffy, the blocker Luffy. Okay, here we go. Pays seven to play another one and plays out a blocker. Oh, hang on, things are going really fast right now. Plays out the blocker uh, Uda from the seven cost. Uh, Luffy's ability, and then plays out a two-cost sugar to tap down. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's just going to tap in a turn. Okay, he just tapped. He just tapped down a because uh, it has to be a four-cost or less, so it didn't really matter. <clears throat> now, when attacking does matter. So just to, uh, I'm going to pause it while he's reading as well. Here, let me get it on the screen. He's reading what sugar does. I'm going to bring that over so you guys can see how that works. So let me just blow it up like this. It's a two cost, zero power, 1k counter. On play at the bottom, rest up one of your opponent's characters at the cost of four or less. Then on opponent's turn, once per turn, when your opponent plays a character card, if your leader is of the Don Quixote Pirates, which it is, rest up one of your opponent's characters, then rest this card. So it can rest any card on the opponent's turn, once per turn. Okay, so let me move this back over and let's get back into it. Okay. <clears throat> So, I think, yeah, you just start attacking first. Don't give him any good options to tap down. Now, he can... Okay. He just swung for 7k at someone. I'm not sure. I, maybe it was Guild Tessero. And then he 2k countered out with the Paradise Waterfall to stand it as well. Okay, very nice. Now, with whoever he plays here can be tapped down by Sugar. Right? Right? So that is something to take into consideration. Okay. So he counters out for 1K with the leaders, or excuse me, we're, I'm sorry, hang on, we gotta get back guys, I'm sorry, we're, I'm losing track of this. So he, he attaches one Dawn to Katakuri here, making him a 7K attack. And who is he attacking? Is he attacking the Luffy? I think he's attacking the Luffy. Yeah, I think he's attacking the Luffy that's tapped. And he's gonna 1K counter out to go to eight. And now, Yamato, so a five cost. He's going to KO the, the Giltisoro anyway. And now he's going to pass turn back. Okay, now he did use the uh, Sugar to tap down the Yamato. Very nice. He almost missed it, but he caught it at the end there. Very nice. <laughs> he almost missed it. Okay, um, I think you just play Doflamingo here. I mean, I don't even understand the question, like the, the, the thought process, because Doflamingo will tap down the Randolph, the Yamato, and the seven, and, excuse me, and the Katakuri leader. So it'll be tapped down now. And now the Doflamingo is in a commanding position, an absolutely dominant position, because he has Sugar untapped, he has two 7K blockers and a 5K blocker. And yeah, this this is an ideal position for the Doflamingo. So I'm going to say this. He definitely weathered the storm, and it looks like he's in the driver's seat. Let's see what happens here. Okay, because he does still have a 10-cost Big Mom in hand. It's not over, but um, if he goes Doflamingo, 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 it is pretty much... Okay, he's, he's, he's worried about sequencing. So swing five at life, and then... Yeah, I th so I think it's swing five at life. 
He's going to take it. He doesn't have a way out of it. He gets another tank cost Big Mom. And now the question is, do you get greedy and swing with at least one of these blockers? I think you do. Yeah, so he's swinging seven. Oh, yeah. So so this is a little bit of trouble here. This is a... I think you, after seeing him take that, you know, and, and realizing that none of this is untapping when he plays the... the the Doe Flamingo, and you have a, a blocker on the board and a way to tap whatever they play, even if it somehow had rush. I think you swing for 7k more. Because what what are they gonna do, right? Or okay, swing for 5k, that's fine too. Because what are they going to do? Load up all their dawn on pudding or on Shirahoshi? Sure, use your blocker. You know, so this Doe Flamingo is in an absolutely dominant position. Uh yeah, I would uh, nice. So he is saying, you know what, dude? You're in trouble. Well, okay, that's that's interesting that he swung at the character and not the face. Because <laughs> now he has nothing to... <laughs> that, that, that's got to be a play mistake. That's got to be a play mistake. Because he could have already tapped that down and he could have swung 7k more at face. But whatever the case is, I don't think... I think... I think this purple-green player is in absolutely dominant position here. I, I don't know if he can lose at this point, to be honest. Okay, so let's see what happens. Uh, I think you just play Big Mom. I don't think you have, like, any other play here. Because he has a Big Mom, Randolph, Thunderbolt, and a, uh, and a, uh, Struzan. So, yeah, you're in a lot of trouble here. You just have to play... Oh, gosh. And then it gets tapped down. So, here we go. Now, now the game's over. The game is officially locked down. There's no more thought process to be had. You just swing everything at life, and you keep all three of these tapped next turn. The game's over. Very nice. Okay, let's see what he does here. Let's let's see what the thought... Because, again, I will say he doesn't know what's in his opponent's hand. Maybe he has four 2Ks, right? Maybe that's the idea. He has four 2Ks in hand. But I don't know what that changes. Because if, if that's the case, that's perfect, right? That means he has nothing in hand. So, but as you attack life, he will get triggers. He will get other possibilities here. Um, but I think, yeah, you go five at life here. Yep, 1K counter out. Okay. Let's just keep swinging. There's, this guy is really deep in the tank here, thinking pretty hard. Because he does have zero life. He is probably a little nervous, but I, what could a yellow player possibly pull? Was that, is that another Big Mom, by the way? Another 10 cost Charlotte Lin Lin. Okay, but, but I just don't think it matters. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> how funny is that? So each player drew four of their 10 cost characters. You see this? Four 10 cost Big Moms. On, on the uh, Katakuri in his hand and on the field, and four of the ten cost Doflamingos on the field are in the hand of the of the Dofi. That is too funny. But it's over. Yeah, there's just no way out of this. There's no way out. Uh, what did he draw? Was that a, is that a Paro Sparrow or something? Uh, I think yeah, it's an, I think it's an Altar Paro Sparrow. You just play the Big Mom. Um, what's his name? Going to tap it? Oh no, he replaced. Excuse me. He replaced the uh, Sugar with the new ten cost Dofi, which is the right call. Sorry. Okay. But now it is just, there's no way out of this. I don't, I don't think there's any way out of this. So let's watch him swing in and definitely give, you know, okay, they did post on the screen. The only way to, well, actually, let's do the math. I don't think this stops it. So say you swing five with your leader. That eats up a card, you know, <clears throat> from, uh, you know, th that eats up the Struzan. You swing for five with, actually, I don't know. I would probably keep some blockers untapped and, and actually use my Dawn to win the game here. I would swing 10 with my leader. That's going to get a card. Swing Or not with my leader, excuse me. 10 with my Doflamingo character. Sorry, that it's confusing because they're both Doflamingo. Swing 10 with my character. Swing, t swing 10 with the other character. And then, if he takes it, you know, you just go all in on either one of your 7K Luffy's. Actually, you just go all in on your 7K Luffy. Or, or you um, swing with your leader. Either way, either way there, there is no way to survive this. Unless it's unless it's two beiges on the top. Okay, so he's going to swing with Uta first. That's fine. But he's just going to counter out. Like I said, I would just force the answers out of his hand swinging with my 10 cost guys first. That would be my first order of um, affairs here. And, and, and again, if you guys think it should go another way, by all means, in the comment section. Okay, so now he's going to do that. Whoa. Okay. He's contemplating what to do here. Sanji blocker. Okay, here we go. Sanji blocker. Let's see what happens. I think you still swing for 10. I don't think that changes. You still swing for 10 with your next Dofi. Because he couldn't block the last one, so how would he block this one? 
Okay, that is really strange to me. Hang on a second. So he's swinging for 11k just in case all of these are 2k counters. So, okay, sure, that's fine. We'll see what happens. He'll probably take this hit just to see what he gets from his life because he has one. Okay, he's going to use the blocker now. Well, okay. So now, honestly, hang on. We got to see because of the way he did this, it really changes the math here. Um, I, I think he should have swung with this first. And then you swing with this one to get the blocker like he did. Then you have these extra four attacks down here. So let's see what happens. Um, is he, he wants to make sure it's 11 every time. I don't think that's the right play. Because if you just swing nine, even just nine, it's going to get every single card out of his hand. And then you go nine here and nine here or nine here, if whichever one he didn't... Um, you know, if, if it's a beige or a blocker, it just depends. But okay, well, he's got he's got it made up in his mind how he wants to do it. He still has eight dawn to play with. He should s still very easily be able to to pull this off. Uh, and and y'all tell me, do y'all think it was a play mistake swinging with Uda first? I I, I kind of feel like it was. And I'm not trying to be overly critical, um, <clears throat> but. We're trying to get better watching this, right? We're commentating, we're enjoying the game together, but we're also trying to get better, right? Uh, at least I am. Okay, so he swings for seven. This is a good call. Yeah, okay, and that's game. Yeah, now you load up every single card on this guy. Okay, or, or you just swing for seven, okay? It, hey, he got the job done. Winner, uh, Do Flamingo, coming back from a very ugly starting hand. Um, so just kind of doing a, a quick uh, playback over the game. Uh, the first thing that I think I would have done differently as the Dofi player, he still won, he still won, is I would have used this to, to draw the card and establish board control like he did. Like he did start establishing board control. I would have just also drawn the card from Guild to Soro, forcing him to, forcing my opponent to attack Guild to Soro. That's fine with me, right? Or, or removing him in some way or shape, shape and form. But again, we know he's trying to get to 10 Dawn. I'm not, I'm not um, ignorant of that fact. I know he's trying to get to 10 Dawn. I get it. Uh, but drawing extra cards, l let's see what it would have drawn him. Let's just see if it would have changed anything. Let's fast forward a little bit. So it was a Uta from the top. And on top of that, hang on, he's going he to... He did not do it again here. And let's see. I just want to see what the next card was that he drew. It was Uda, and then the next card he would have drawn was... Ah! <laughs> okay. And the next card he would have drawn was a... I think it was a Nami, is what we just saw. Yeah. So if he would have swung uh, to begin with with, with this uh, to Soro, he could have gotten to the Uta and the Nami that much faster. In the end, it doesn't matter. He still won, right? That's that's all that matters. And he, he, he got the job done. But I will say there, there were quite a few interesting questionable plays on both sides. Like not not playing the uh, the uh, remember when, when the yellow player did not play the the Sh the Charlotte Cracker from life either. That was also very interesting to me. And then last but not least, I just want to mention the uh, whoops. Oh, that's interesting. Did we just see a black green list? Very cool. So this is a black green list. That I guess that someone played over in one of their tournaments. So definitely screenshot this if you want to like try this out in your local. See how good this deck list is. Uh, very interesting. Uh, but anyway, back to the game. The very final thing I'll mention is right here. So, okay, so this is the board state. These three cards are tapped down. Not that it matters because he has no blockers on the field. He has a 10K, 10K, 7K, 7K, and then two 5Ks with the, ulti, with the Uta and the leader. I like swinging for 11. I think that's okay because it would take four cards out of hand, theoretically, right? Like, that's fine. But I would do that first. I think swinging for the 5k was a mistake, personally. And I'm not trying to be overly critical, like I said. But but we do have to call it out when we see it, right? If we're trying to get better at this game, and just doing simple math. If, if he has 5 cards in hand, and we swing for 11, and he counters out of that. Okay, that'll take a 2, 4, 6, 8, or, or, or 7, right? So he'll have to use bare minimum 4 of his 5 cards. Then we just beat him down slowly but surely. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. That's just the way that I think I would have done it. Because then I would have swung. It would have been, okay, if you count out an 11K, now I'm swinging for 7K with my um, with my Luffy. And then I'm probably going to swing for 9K with my next one. 
and that would eat up the Sanji, and you guys get it from there. It's just kind of it maths out. But swinging for five here, I do feel like was a little bit um, was not the was not the play, because okay, he just uses the two K counter from hand here, and there goes one of your attacks, and that opened up the door for a potential Sabo or excuse me uh, Sanji and Beige right or double Sanji. Or, or brulee. I don't know what's in this guy's list, right? But cards like that. Um, and then, well, we know what happens from here. Well, all right, guys. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, I, I love commentating these games. I love broadcasting these. If I missed anything, by all means, tell me. I, I apologize beforehand. I know sometimes I mess up with the names or the numbers. Y'all bear with me. Just call me out when you see it. I'll, 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 uh, <laughs> I'll look over it if you do and be like, oh, yeah, my bad. You know, stuff like that. Well, as usual, guys, thanks for stopping by. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the comment section below what you thought of this game. Are you looking forward to playing Purple Green Dofi over here in the West for in your locals? Are you looking to try out the new Katakuri? Because the new you know Katakuri got some pretty decent support uh, in OP04. What what are you interested in? Or, or are you like me? You just can't wait to play Rebecca. <laughs> Y'all know I can't wait. Um, but anyway, until next time, guys, peace.